in the previous recordings you'll remember that we uh, looked at delete me we had a folder called nxtb examples which we downloaded from Dexter industries and we had two programs here the one we're looking at today or in this video is nxt complete received rbt uh, that's the one which was stored on the desktop inside delete me now to take a look at that we'll start up lego mindstorms it's loading it's here um, we can go to file open and in this case as we said the folder is on the desktop we find delete me we look at nxdb examples and here is our nxt complete received rbt we click on ok and our program is opened this is the sample program which we've downloaded from Dexter Industries website. Now let's look at the individual things here. This is the NXTB receive block. It's the one we've got here that we downloaded I think in section 4.1 of the um, of these series of tutorials or series of videos I should say the speed is set at 9600 bode it must be the same as the one we've set in the send program if you have different between the two it won't work uh, the type is set as string we set that as a string in the sending program again uh, it must be the same as in the sending program both of those if either of those are different the sending program nothing will work it waits there it'll get a text um, output string string is another computer science term for text it gets the text it passes it via this into the uh, text part of this particular block this block is a display it's the one that's up here display and what it does is the text it puts up on the screen it puts it in line 4 of the uh, NXT computer bricks screen and we set this for text okay uh, it then waits one oh, 0 0.1 seconds okay a tenth of a second goes round and checks again that's eight on its side as an infinity sign it just means it keeps doing that forever until we press the little uh, dark button below the orange button on our NXT computer brick so that's pretty much what the receive program does it'll be sitting there and every tenth of a second whoops <laughs> every tenth of a second it'll uh, check to see if there's something coming in if there is it puts it on the it receives it puts the text on the screen waits a tenth of a second then just keeps going so that's our receive program we can download it in the normal way uh, using the um, key down here just one caution remember that for this to work we have to have the updated firmware this one inside our computer brick we dealt with that I think in section 4.2 of these videos okay so let's take this download it and we'll now check run to see if the whole thing works. Thanks.